Hello. Today we're going to look at how to install Waterfox, which is a Firefox-based browser on Ubuntu 18.4. So, by default, you will find the link in the description description of this video inside the blog to this page. You can just click on Download Waterfox, and it will give you the Linux version. As you can see, Linux. But if it gives you Windows or anything else, you can just go here and choose Linux also. It's absolutely the same. You just save this file. This is not a normal dev package, so it's a slightly tricky to install, but I'm going to show you how to do it. And the cool thing is it's not just working on Ubuntu. It works on any 64-bit Linux-based operating system, which is fantastic and easy to use. So. Yes, you can see we're nearly done. And I'm just going to open in the directory where this package is. And you will also find all these instructions in the block of this video. And now we will just extract this package, extract here. And this might take a few seconds. As you can see, we are busy here. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to extract this package and then we're going to inside this is a package called waterfox and we will just move that to a place where your system normally store all the third party apps like Chrome and TeamViewer, Crossover and many others to let's continue store the data in the opt folder and that's where we will store it. Then we will install an app called a la carte which will basically give us the ability to add any item to a menu. So then we will add the Waterfox application to a menu with this app. So we just right click on it and you will see this package here and you can open it up. You will see a lot of data here and you got your Waterfox here. You can try it out if you want to. And you can see the yeah, Waterfox. Waterfox is working. So basically we got Waterfox, but now we're just going to put it in a good place. So let's go back here and we open up a terminal inside this directory. So we right click in the terminal and so open in terminal and move it to the left and we're going to run this command. Let's copy, paste. Press enter, type your password, press enter, and that's it. As you can see, the package is no longer here. So that's fantastic. That's a sign that it worked. <laughs> and now we're gonna ins add Waterfox to our app menu. So I'm gonna open up a terminal. I press Ctrl Alt and T to open a terminal, but you can also go in your menu and type in terminal to open it up also. So now we will just copy this command and press enter, type your password, press enter, press enter, this is just normal updates. So as you can see we have seen installing our carta now and it should be nearly done, it's a very small package. And then after that, we will just add our Waterfox to our system menu. So now I'm just going to type in a la carte, and as you can see, you've got your menu here. We're going to go to Internet, it's a new item. Now I'm going to call this Waterfox. You can call it anything you want. And for the command, you will go to the opt folder, so we will just go to other locations, my computer. Here's the op folder, here's Waterfox, and we look for this package called just Waterfox with this application icon. And for the icon, we go to other locations, back to the op folder, back to the Waterfox folder, browser, icons, and this one. As you can see, it's the new icon of Waterfox, 
and it should be here any moment. And now we can close up everything like a machine and just type in Waterfox and it behaves like a normal application in your system. Exactly what we wanted. You can make it your default browser and you can enjoy Waterfox. Pretty simple, pretty efficient and I like it. Yeah, thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.